And welcome back to Let's Play Dark Sun Shattered Lands. When we last left off, we had freed some slaves from slavery from bandits to the south of this area. And whoa, glitchy sound. And hello, cactus. That's what it shall be named. This hummingbird shall be named Cactus. Just this one, not the other ones. Anyways, let's talk to some people, shall we? Visitor, level four. Hello, my name is Met Met Metikult. Will you share the fire with me? Yes. I'm celebrating my good fortune. I am Atticus. Your name sounds familiar. Familiar, Atticus. Are you the gladiators who broke out of Dredge? Why do you want to know? Just trying to be sociable. Yes, I am. Ha! You made quite an impression on the Templars. They're still spitting venom. <laughs> oh, jeez, we really got under their hides. I just fleeced a fool of a Templar. Must say, it scratches an itch to dig the Templars. And now I have money to make the journey to Tyr. Why are you going to Tyr? That's where the real mining in mining is. An industrious body can make a good living sneaking into the iron mines and relieving the mountain of its load. How did you get the money? I convinced this Templar that he could mine copper from a mineral bath southwest of here. Of course, there's nothing out there but hot water. So you're the one who conned the Templar and practically tried to destroy the hot springs. Ew. Ugh. Where is this Templar? He could be back in Dredge by now, for all I know. But uh, when I left him, he was at the hot springs to the southwest. Good luck in your travels. Oh! Sorry, I need to get some rest before I begin my journey. Good luck in your travels. And let's talk to this visitor who is level 5! Welcome, fellow travelers. Care to join me in a, for a bowl of stew? The meat is fresh. Yes, sir. Sure. Good. Now that I'm done hunting, it will be nice to share a meal with someone. Where do you? Where did you get the fresh meat? I came across some unwary praying and got off a lucky shot. So I'm guessing you're a ranger or something? Who are you? My name is Tidzio. I am a stranger to this part of Athos and its custom. And its customs. Ugh, can't speak. Where are you from? Nowhere. Nowhere or everywhere. I've traveled here ever since I can remember. Where I'm going has always been more important than where I've been. Which way are you headed? Uh, I haven't decided. Let me tell you a story passed down to me by my father. Many years ago, there was a nomad named Nephil. He was on his way north from Dredge, where a, stands, a sandstorm rose out of nowhere. The winds tore him off his feet, and flying debris, debris knocked him. Debris, debris, can't even speak, son of a blah. And flying debris knocked him unconscious. He awoke on the north face of a volcano. Below him were hundreds of lava domes, each containing a gem. When he returned to civilization, his wealth became legendary. Which way are you traveling? I'm traveling southwest to the Ringing Mountains. I've seen enough sand for a lifetime, and I've heard stories about underground cities full of treasure. I hope to reach the lava fields west of the fields pretty soon. What's in the lava fields? Not much there except lava fields. <laughs> except lava fields. <laughs> Have you ever seen these gems? No, I admit that I haven't. But I've seen people go in in search of the gems, never to return. Dead? Or did they find wealth to retire to enjoy it? And retire to enjoy it. Ugh. I seriously don't know what's happening with me. I can't even speak for crying out loud. What's to the east? Not much out there. Not much that way except that huge fossilized worm. Me? I never had the courage to go into the, into the place. What's to the south? Dredge is to the south. I wouldn't advise you going anywhere near the place. Though not... Though... Ugh, though not looking like ex-slaves the way you do. City troops are hunting for rebellious slaves. Soon enough, they'll have an army on the march. 
Oh my god, I must be tired or something. Frick off. What else did you hear about the troops? Troop movements are increasing daily. War can't be far off. A big war. I hear Crassus himself is leading the army. Car Crass Crassix. Ugh. Ugh, names are hard to read in this game. What's to the west? Uh, well, well, there's a, well, there's Gedron due west, and Cedral, Cedral to the southwest. I went to Cedral a few years back. Always wondered what was in the castle overlooking the village. The place reeked of evil. Mm -mm. Tell me about the castle. Something is better not to know about, and the castle is one of them. Goodbye. You going? Eh, no. Ah, more for me then. Good luck in your travels, yeah. And if we use the... We need it to rest anyways. Alright. Now, I want to go talk to the caravan master? Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's go talk to this lady. I think. It's a lady. I think. Who are you? Ah, Larissa! Greetings, Seekers. I am Madame Larissa, and you are... Yes, it comes to me. You are Atticus, and your companions, Halton, Selexa, and Allura. All worthy adventurers. How do you know our names? I know many things. I am a seer with abilities of sight beyond that of normal people, sensing the ancient past and the future as you see the present. Your brother sent me. Yes, I know. My brother has a small measure of sight as well. It is why he was chosen as the gate guard. Often he sends those who are, are particularly strong to me for, for, for further counsel. Your brother seems to know a lot himself. Yes, between the two of us, we probably know all there is to know about this area. My brother, of course, gathers his information from, from the travelers he greets, while I gather mine from the mystical, from mystical sources. Ah, clairvoyance. I'm guessing you're a psionicist? Of the clairvoyant discipline? Tell me about yourself. Hmm, there's little to tell. My brother, the gate guard, and I were born in Dredge, slaves to a Templar. We escaped using my precognitive precognitive abilities, and lived in Tikitzel until we joined this caravan. Tell me about Tikitzel. Tikitzel is southwest of here. We left because two visionaries in the same village can cause problems. He had problems with, other vi with the other visionary? To say the least, that charlatan spoke of nothing but doom and salvation. Ha! I, to I told them that such talk was nonsense and simply attracted trouble. I had no such visions. Oh, no. You'd be pretty wrong. You'd be pretty wrong about the visionary. Will you tell me my fortune? For a mere 35 ceramic pieces, I can reveal your destiny. Mystical secrets that have hid been hidden from you. Will you pay? Yes. Madame Larissa slips the coins you give her out of sight and begins chanting. Her eyes roll back as she spreads her arms. I see. I see innocent blood spilled, simple merchants beset by brigands, their livelihood stripped from them. But lo, heroes come to their aid and are re and are rewarded. Can you repeat? Uh, I remember, for good or ill, you must embrace your doom. Goodbye. Yeah, that was kind of worthless. We already know. We already freed that caravan. And. Why not let us Michelle? And... <laughs> the music! Eh. Caravan Master. Let's speak to him. Greetings, I am Durasana. Durasana, the Wagon Master. We have a great variety of goods to offer. What is. Uh, if that is your pleasure. I am Atticus. The pleasure is mine, Atticus. You're an adventurer, yes? You'll find many such as yourself at the visitor circle. Tell me about the wagon merchants. If you're looking for goods, I recommend the wagons belonging to Larissa, Kel, Torbreen, and Jark. What is to 
Tobrian, Tobrian's business. Tobrian is an excellent winemaker. You won't find better anywhere on Athos. If you're lucky, you'll we'll have enough to supply, enough in stock for you to set a good supply. Where do I find Tobrian? Tobrian's wagon is just to the northwest. What is Larissa's business? Larissa is a seer. Her visions of the future are as clear as yours of the past. She's the one who told us to avoid the main city. Where do I find Larissa? Larissa is next to the western fence of the caravan north of Kel's wagon. What is Kel's business? Kel sells unique items collected from all over Athens, but he's a but he's a close-mouthed man. I think he has a secret or two. Where is Kel? Kel's wagon is sec is the second wagon to the southwest. What is Jark's business? Jark sells weapons of all kinds and has the most ex extensive stock of obsidian and bone this side of Dredge. Where do I find Jark? You'll find Jark's wagon north of my wagon, of course, if that is your pleasure. Tell me about your caravan. Once we dealt with city folk setting up camp outside the city walls. Once we dealt with city folk setting up our camp outside the. But our business is now with simple travelers. We. We are only biding our time while the pot is stirred. Well, what pot is stirred? The more strife there is between Dredge and the villages, the better for us. We are beset by bandits, though. I don't know much. Don't know how much longer we can stay. Why haven't you moved on to another city? The opportunities for profit are too great with Dredge preparing for war. We will make good all. We will make good all our law. Losses as prices shoot up. Who is raiding your caravan? Two groups of raiders continually attack us. One, a band of Magrama, is deadly in its dogged persistence. The other is a group of hor is a horde of bandits riding wyverns. They are terrifying. Where do the raiders come from? Both come out of out of the south, usually when the sun is setting, and they are difficult to spot. But who knows where they are really where they really come from? Tell me about the Magrama. Brutish beasts. They attack in small groups of nine or ten. Hit and run. They never make off with much, but it takes a toll on profits. Tell me about the Wyvern Riders. The Wyvern Riders are a scourge. There's no way to defend the caravan when they plummet out of the sky. Even Dredge suffered attacks by them and sent troops to deal with the bandits. Wait a moment. Are you interested in working for me? I will pay you handsomely for some sword work. Yes, sir. Which min mission are you interested in? The Wyvern Riders. My best scouts say the Wyverns come from a village far to the southwest. The payment is 1,000 ceramic pieces for your to stop the Wyvern raids on the caravan. Is this agreeable? Yes. And, oh, good news. The entire caravan will be grateful. What business do you ha What business did you do with the city? Our main trade is transporting Dredge's rich crops of grain and hemp to Ram and Uruk. However, they gain immediate profits as intermediates for the local artisans and merchants. Why are you biding your time? Rumors of strife in the city make it worthwhile to wait. Prices are sure to go up with more. Have you heard of any news out out of Dredge? The Templars are inciting the Dragians to war, rising, raising the specter of slave villages in revolt as an excuse to grab resources. They will cleanse the desert, or so they claim. Good luck in your missions against the Wyvern Raiders. You know what? Give me a moment. I'm going to see what the reward for defeating the Magrama is. Yeah, I looked it up. It's the same thing. How is your caravan faring? Faring. Uh, we see more profitable times to be sure, but raiders force us into the desert while only fo folk like you can find us. Ah, yeah, see, we get the same thing. Where do the raiders come from? And, yes. The wyvern raiders. Yeah, let's do that one. Tell me about your caravan. And that is it. Now, there's someone that I want to talk to that can be a little bit glitchy to talk to at times. Let's see. Uh, still got. Oh, I didn't split the arrows, damn it. No. 
now. I want to put all the items I have into as few chests as possible. As soon as I talk to him. Oh, damn it. Give me that. And there we go. It's weird how the chain, metal chain armor, is actually better than the leg armor. Eh, what can you do, though? Oh. You got something. Put into... Put the items into as few chests as possible. Alright. Now I'm just gonna save again, and then we're gonna actually talk to Tobrian. Jeez, not a whole lot gonna get done in this video. Tobrian. Good day! I'm Tobrian, winemaker extraordinaire. Please sample my wine. You'll not want to deny yourself the pleasure of its delicate bouquet and full body. I honestly can't... I honestly can't... I honestly don't like alcohol in the slightest. Ah! Oh, I am Atticus. Ah, it is indeed a pleasure to meet a man of such obvious distinction. Wine always goes down better with talk. An excellent observation. Here, let me fill a glass for you to enjoy while we talk. Tolbrain hands you a goblet of wine. Do you drink the wine? Yes. The wine is good, but leaves a suspiciously bitter aftertaste. Delicious! Hmm, thank you for sampling it. If you'll excuse me, I have much to do. Yeah, there's some things that can happen. Luckily, I don't think it it worked. Let's see. Dull brain. There's nothing more to discuss. Goodbye. Yeah, there's a certain event that you can actually have happen. So let's load that again. Because I know there's a certain thing that happens because it was... Let's see. I would be glad to sample your wine. The acrid ah, an acrid taste lingers in your tongue after drinking the wine. Suddenly, your throat constricts and sharp pain lances through your stomach. You remember nothing else. Yep, we've been poisoned. That's the event, and you actually got to be careful about that. You wake from your stupor to find yourself surrounded by city troops. A lean elf argues with one of the troopers. Listen to the conversation. You should kill them. But the commander may want them alive. Tell them they were killed trying to escape. Listen to the conversation. Killing them will save, tr will save trouble. You can fight them now, or they will try to escape. Your advice is tempting. Tempting, but command the commander is powerful, and I don't want to suffer his wrath. Listen to the conversation. Do you think the commander wants anything but their deaths? The embarrassment they have caused the Templars allows for nothing less. You're right. The commander will reward me. And I will kill them now. Who are you? If that interests you, my name is Surf. Remember, if and I spill your life onto the sand, what are you going to do with me? Oh, we are just discussing that. Whether to kill you before or after we take you to Drab. Uh, take you to the commander. You'll never take me alive! Then we have nothing to discuss. Would you agree? Yes. Guards! The guards scramble for their weapons as you make your break. Oh, boy. Yeah, and we are completely unarmed. But luckily... We have haste! Did I just fireball myself? Oh my god, how stupid am I? Luckily, we can just beat the crap out of- I can't believe I just fireballed myself! Yeah, I'm not going to the- close to the- to the dagger run. Well, at least not with Selexat or Alora, that's for sure. And beat the crap. Okay, good. Sometimes you can get some rather bad things to happen. 
You know what? I'm taking... I'm taking your swords. I'm taking your arrows, but I'm not taking your bow. Yeah, don't worry about losing all your equipment. Because we can get it back. Like, right now! Because the fact is... Yeah. <laughs> that is why I was considering on dropping all those items. Uh, do, 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 do. You know what? Screw it. Leave them. <laughs> yeah. That, honestly, if you plan to do... If you know about that and you plan to do it with rolled characters and not characters like how I did them, you might want to do that. You might want to take the items off the guards, off the bandits that you kill. Hello, Atticus. News of your agreement to stop the Wyvern Raiders is... All over the caravan, you are brave souls, and I wish you good luck. Uh, wyverns or no, they'll not bother you again. You look formidable enough to me. I doubt the bandits and their wyverns will stand against you for long. What do you know about the bandits? Uh, the wagon master must have told you more than I can. All I know is that they're troublesome enough to have city troops hunting them. You must know something. It is enough to know that the bandits descended on us from their castle and take what they want. They never... They were never so bold without those wyverns. What is this castle you spoke of? The castle? It's something a traveler mentioned. She was on her way to... To Cedralite. Cedralt. That's west of here. When she saw the wyverns flying from a mountain stronghold. I figured it must be the same ones attacking us, but I don't know. I'm sure the Wagon Master knows more than me. Where did the bandits get the wyver get wyverns? Can't tell you much. Only that wyverns are rare enough to make you wonder how common bandits got control of them. Is there any news outside of Dredge? Riots of rumors surrounded the Sorcerer King and the Templars and Dredge bickering over leadership. The only thing they agree on is annihilating the desert villages. Now, I think it's time to... Oh yeah, there's all our stuff, by the way. I wanna grab everything. And also, you gotta be careful, because some... Oh, this is Alora's. Because sometimes items can go missing in your inventory. Mm-mm-mm. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, it's Halton's chest. Yeah, you know what? I will... Just let me... You know what? Actually, I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pick up all this junk and sort through it. All right. Sorted through all that mess. Now everybody's equipped. Or, well, re-equipped. Frickin' heck. That was annoying. Brian, what do you have to say? Oh, it's you! I'm terribly sorry for that, for what happened. I had no choice! It was Seraph! He forced me to do it. He threatened to kill me if I didn't co cooperate. Please forgive me! There was... These are your belongings in, in the wagon. I was holding them in case you escaped from that worm, Seraph. I'll let the wagon master decide this. Very well. We'll go to her. Yep, it's... She. It's hard to tell from their genders. And also... Yep, DeBrian, you are going to be so screwed. So screwed. This is what happens. No. Yeah, and we did see Seraph in the village. In this caravan, didn't we? Drasana, these barbarians have wrongly accused me! I demand justice! You worm! This is a serious matter. It is well that you came to me. Violence is not tolerated here. We came to you in good faith. I suggest that we solve this civilized matter. Each of you will be given a chance to speak, and I will judge who has been wronged. Is this agreeable? Yes. First, Tobrian. Speak. Then you. What happened there, Tobrian? 
These cutthroats burst into my wagon demanding that I give them mine. What was I to do? You see how fearsome they are? I am just lucky they, they have heard that they heard guards coming and decided it would be better to lie their way out. And your side? Tell the truth. The wagon master listens intently to your tale of Tobrian's deceit and treachery. I have listened to the accusations in this dispute between Tobrian and Atticus. Considering the evidence, I have no choice but in judge in favor of Atticus and his companions. You are a wise judge. I thank you. You are gracious. I am so I am sorry to Brian caused you such trouble trouble. To Brian, you bring dishonor to this caravan and must pay for it. I charge you with a fine of 5000 ceramic pieces and you will forfeit your wagon to these innocent travelers. Leave this caravan now, To Brian, before you suffer a worse before you suffer a worse fate. Here are 1,000 ceramic pieces as compensation for your trouble. The rest will go for the good of the caravan. Farewell. Ha <laughs> ha, you little weasel. We have nothing more to discuss. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get, you little weasel. I'm going to laugh all of, I'm going to follow, follow you out on your way out and laugh at you. Ha 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 Look at the idiot. Ha 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 And also notice that this, notice that his eyes are blue. I don't know why I'm making that observation. Ha 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 You suck. Ha 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 ha. Okay, I'm done. Ugh, what a sniveling weasel. Poisoned us, but hey, at least we get all this wine! Too bad we can't drink any of it. Then again, I kind of wouldn't want to drink any of it, considering what happened. And I can't believe I fireballed myself! Oh my god, what the hell? Ugh. Uh, and goodbye. And goodbye, Cactus. I'm off. Let's see. Use the loads rod. For travel to Tikitsil Village. So I think it's si time to go to Satellite. Satellite, I don't know. The village, like I said, the names are pretty. Yeah. You're back. Thought you were off to save Athis and fulfill the prophecy. Ah, goodbye. You could shut it. You could shove it. Do you wish to leave Tikitsil? Yes. Ah! I thought I was using haste, but I used fireball. <laughs> oh, pay attention to what you're doing. Uh. Oh, excuse me. Ugh, got a bad cough. Also, another reason why I don't like drinking any alcohol whatsoever is because, especially considering it really does irritate my throat badly. Yeah. Let's see anything here? Nope. Nope. And nope. Let's go to this guy. I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't want to go to the village right away because there's going to be combat as soon as I entered it. As soon as I enter it. And you'll see why. Let's talk to Maris. Let's see. I'd like to master... Let's see. Do I want any of this? Psionic Blast. Intellect Fortress. Synaptic Static. And that's it. And a plus two quarters. And eh, never mind. I think I'll get all that later. Good luck in your studies. Ugh. Yeah, I kind of don't want to... We could talk to this guy. Man wanders the salt plain. He stoops occasionally to gather handfuls of salt into a straw basket. We could talk to Tunu. And combat music, apparently. He's an enemy! We must fight it! Just... <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, that shall be it from me. Once I save. And this... I don't know idea what. This... This music... Ugh. Sometimes it just comes up at the weirdest parts of the... I don't know. Anyways, I'm rambling. That shall be it for me. I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and I shall see you in the next video.